Welcome to Sunshine Stories. Please join us for How Not to Babysit Your Brother by Kathy Hepka and Ellen Teitelbaum, illustrated by Debbie Palin. How Not to Babysit Your Brother. Little brothers are trouble. Hi, my name is Will. I live with my parents, my grandma, my dog Buster, and my little brother, Steve. Steve is trouble. He's loud, he's smelly, and he's always around. If you have a little brother, you know exactly what I mean. Last week, I found out just how much trouble he could be. That's when I learned how not to babysit my brother. It all started when mom went shopping. Dad was out playing golf. I was playing my new video game, Cowboy Stampede. I was about to reach level five. Usually my cowboy got trampled on level three. Bye mom, I said. Bye mom, Steve sang out. He likes to copy everything I do. We'll be fine, grandma told mom. Don't worry. After mom left, I went back to my game. Suddenly, I felt a tug on my arm. Can I play? It was Steve, of course. Go away, I said. But it was too late. The cow trampled my cowboy. Two words came on the screen. Game over. Look what you did, Torped, I said. Play nice, boys, Grandma said. She yawned and picked up a book. I went back to my game. A minute later, I heard a snore. I looked over at the couch. Grandma's book was on her lap and her eyes were closed. Grandma, I said. The only answer was another snore. She was fast asleep. A very bad idea. I looked over at Steve. He stared back at me. I'm bored, Steve said. If grandma's asleep, you have to babysit me. I want to play hide and seek. Okay, I said. You hide first. One, two, three. I smiled as Steve ran out of the room. Buster ran after him. Steve loves hide and seek. I love my video game. Now we were both happy. I waited until Steve and Buster were out of sight. Then I stopped counting and went back to my video game. I didn't think about Steve again until my cowboy was out of lasso points. Then I realized that the house was very quiet, too quiet. I turned away from the game and looked at grandma. She was still sleeping. Uh-oh, I said. I went to find Steve. I looked for him under the stairs. I looked in the hall closet. Steve wasn't there. This is when I learned babysitting lesson number one. When you're babysitting your brother, don't forget about him. I continued to search. I checked under Steve's bed. Then I checked under my bed. I searched the basement, the garage, and my closet. There was no sign of Steve. This was going to be harder than I thought. Where was Steve hiding? Crash! Uh-oh, I thought. I heard Buster barking in the kitchen. I ran to see what was going on. A very big mess. When I got there, the dog food bin was tipped over. Steve's head and shoulders were sticking out of the top. Dog food was stuck in his hair, on his clothes, and up his nose. He looked like an alien from the planet Yuck. He giggled as Buster licked some crumbs off his ear. What took you so long? Steve asked when he saw me. A chunk of dog food flew out of his mouth. Babysitting lesson number two. When babysitting your brother, don't let him hide first. Get out of there, I told Steve. We have to clean up this mess. Steve climbed out of the bin. Why? He asked. Buster's cleaning it up. 
If Buster eats all this food, he'll get a stomach ache, I told him. I wiped off the counter and swept the floor, but Steve was still covered in dog food and dog slobber. Come on, Steve, I said. Let's go upstairs. Why? Steve asked. He gave me an I don't trust you look. What's upstairs? The bathtub, I said, grinning. Steve hates baths. I dragged Steve up to the bathroom. No bath, he yelled. I'll give you a cookie, I said. No bath. We glared at each other. I had to think of something fast. If you take a bath, I said, we'll play a game. What game? Steve asked. It's called Tidal Wave. Tidal Wave? Steve said happily. Okay. Babysitting lesson number three. When your brother likes one of your ideas, be very, very worried. Another very, very bad idea. Steve dragged his arms through the tub. Danger! Danger! He shouted, Tidal Wave! Water washed over me. Hey! I yelled. Steve laughed. Here comes another one! I was beginning to realize that Tidal Wave was a very, very bad idea. Stop! I pleaded. No more Tidal Waves! It was too late. Another wave came splashing out of the tub. This time, Steve managed to soak me. All the stuff on the counter by the sink and all four walls. Buster pushed the door open to see what we were doing. He got soaked too. Babysitting lesson number four. Never let your little brother play tidal wave in the bathtub. We have to clean up before Grandma wakes up, I said. Steve shrugged. You can clean, he said. No, I said. You're going to help me. I gave Steve a towel. I'll get a mop, I said. Dry yourself off and don't make a bigger mess while I'm gone. Look, Steve said proudly when I came back with the mop. Now the bathroom is extra clean and it sparkles. I groaned. There was toothpaste on the toilet seat. There was shaving cream on the sink. There was bubble bath dripping from the towel rack. Little wads of wet toilet paper were clinging to the walls. I could smell mom's perfume, dad's aftershave, and grandma's lavender powder mixing together. Babysitting lesson number five. When babysitting your brother, don't let him out of your sight for even one minute. All that cleaning made me hungry, Steve said. I want a snack. Go straight to the kitchen, I croaked. Do not wake Grandma. Do not hide. Do not pass. Go. Do you understand me? Steve smiled his most innocent smile. Sure, I'll make a snack for you too. He hurried out of the bathroom, leaving a trail of water behind him. My toothbrush was floating in the toilet. I fished it out and threw it away. This was not how I wanted to spend Saturday afternoon. Another sticky, smelly, horrible mess. After the bathroom was clean, I walked down to the kitchen. Oh, I gasped. The refrigerator door was wide open. Steve was standing at the counter. A huge half-made sandwich was in front of him. At least I thought think it was a sandwich. It was made out of ham, a whole tomato, an entire cucumber, cold spaghetti, pickles, chocolate syrup, sardines, and yogurt. Buster was licking a big blob of yogurt off the floor. Buster was having a very good day. So was Steve. I was not having a good day. Babysitting lesson number six. When babysitting your brother, don't forget babysitting lesson number five. If you do, you'll regret it every time. Steve took a big bite of his sandwich. Yuck, he cried. This tastes gross. Do you want it, Will? He shoved the sandwich across the counter. I tried to catch it, but I was too slow. The sandwich landed on the floor with a splat. Uh-oh. 
Steve said. Messy. Should I clean it up, Will? No, I cried. I'll do it. Just stay out of the way. I cleaned the kitchen for the second time. Then I went to the family room. Grandma was still asleep on the couch, but now she had a weird streak of sparkly pink stuff on her nose. Steve was sitting next to her. What are you doing? I hissed. You'll wake her up. Shh, Steve replied. He held up mom's makeup bag. I'm just making her look pretty. I watched in horror as he pulled out a lipstick and some face powder. Quit that, I whispered. I grabbed the makeup in the bag and shoved it all under the couch. I took a tissue and gently wiped most of the makeup from grandma's hair and face. Then I looked at Steve. He had smudges of red lipstick all over his face and his arms were dusted with sparkling powder. Why, oh why did I forget babysitting lesson number five? You're a mess, I said. Time for more tidal wave? Steve asked hopefully. I shuddered and shook my head. Then I did what I should have done all along. I let Steve play cowboy stampede while I went to get a washcloth. All's well that ends well, or is it? When mom walked in, Steve was still playing with my video game. I was reading a magazine. I was too tired to do anything else. At least Steve was clean. It took an hour to scrub the makeup off of him. Hello, everyone, mom said with a smile. Looks like things were quiet while I was gone. Grandma's eyelids fluttered. Oh my, she said. That was a nice rest. Were the boys good? Mom asked her. Oh, yes, Grandma said. I hardly heard a peep out of them all afternoon. Will was my babysitter, Steve cried happily. I helped him clean. Mom was staring curiously at Grandma. I gulped as I noticed that Grandma still had a patch of glittery face powder on her chin. Just then, Buster walked in. Mom stared at the dog. Then she stared at me. Well, she asked sternly. I grinned weakly. It's a long story. Babysitting lesson number seven. When babysitting your brother, don't forget to clean up the dog. The end.